All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a beautiful Monday morning. Um, we had a pretty nice weekend here in Ottawa. Uh, nice warm temperatures, sunshine, couldn't ask for much better. Unfortunately, though, with this weather that we've turned into now, um, today is supposed to be a high of 22 degrees Celsius, and last night the low was 10 degrees Celsius, so I'm pretty sure our sap is over for the year. Um, really didn't get a whole lot of syrup made, but it is what it is. So anyway, um, last video I had mentioned, or two videos, I guess, I had mentioned about the weekend we'd had and um, that we'd had a raccoon in our visitor center in the washrooms. Well, uh, last week I set one of our live traps uh, out behind the building and I caught one and we'd had the access door open so I figured I might have caught it. Closed everything back up. The next day there was more destruction in the bathroom so anyway um, then uh, yesterday evening Saturday or Sunday evening we were done closed up for the day and I set the live trap again and then I proceeded to go about and finish our day and came back over about 8 o'clock last night to check on things to see if I'd caught him or anything and lo and behold he'd eaten the bait out of the trap but uh, no raccoon in the trap so he's a little bit of a Houdini raccoon I guess so uh, anyway um, so I'm over here at the visitor center right now um, thought I'd bring you guys along I'm gonna go in and uh, shut the alarm off and then I'll be right back with you and we'll go and see if we caught him so stay tuned all right so we're now in our visitor center area I don't know if you guys have even seen this maybe Maddie and Russ were in here but anyway this is our visitor center where people come in and pay their admission and this door here leads to the back where the washrooms are now, every time this has happened, it's been in the women's washroom. So I'm going to open this door to inside just in case he's just walking around in here. In case he decides to go for a walk. And let's see what we came up with. Well, look at there. Huh. So that I had set both traps in here. The little one had... Uh, cookie in it and obviously he was in there and took the cookie out and obviously he was too fat to get the door shut behind him and he got out then he went into the other one where he is currently caught and there was a piece of bread with peanut butter wired to the bottom of it so he couldn't just take it away and obviously he tripped things so yeah so you can see he's a pretty good size of a raccoon. Not bigger, but nothing out of the ordinary. But that is the hole he's coming through. And you can see the mud and footprints all over the wall. And that hole at the top there is about three inches uh, wide and nine inches long. And he's been coming through there. And I don't imagine he's been real happy because he's been locked in here. And that access panel where he was coming through leads up into the attic and then it can go down into the basement as well. So anyway, we'll uh, grab him here. You can hear him growling and hissing at me. So anyway, I don't imagine he's real happy with captivity, but anyway, so we're going to throw him in the truck here and uh, I'll take him out back and get rid of him because I really don't want him coming back around this area here and I we've been having more problems at the barns with raccoons as well because uh, oh we lost some more chickens and stuff but um, 
Anyway, now out in the daylight, you can see our little friend here that has uh, been causing us a tremendous amount of grief. But it's chilly. <laughs> Quite the little set of claws on them. They're handy little rigs. So. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And. Uh, We'll talk to you again soon. What are you driving? Um, a tractor. A tractor? Yeah. Who else drives a tractor? Oh, daddy. Daddy? Yes. Wow. Who else drives a tractor? Um, that one. That tractor over there? Yes. Yeah. Is it just like your little tractor? Yeah.